In this demo, we'll review the reports available in OpenLMIS. From the home screen, click on the Reports menu item on the navigation bar, and then click View Reports. That will display the View Reports screen. There will be two types of reports available in OpenLMIS. The first example we'll look at is the Aggregate Equipment Status by Facility report. So we'll click on that report option, and then we'll have a few additional parameters to define. So for this report, we'll need to select the facility that we want to view. Once we select a facility, we can also specify the format. So first we'll look at a PDF. So that's selected already. So we'll click Generate. That will generate a PDF version of the report that provides the geographic zone, facility information, equipment type, and the total number of devices, as well as the number of devices disaggregated by their status. So whether they're functioning, waiting for repairs, or unserviceable. We can also select to generate this report as a CSV, an Excel file, or an HTML. So for example, if you wanted to have a CSV extract of this information, you can choose CSV and then click Generate. And that will download a CSV file of that report. So if I open that up, then I'll see the export of the information in CSV format. So it's the same data, just in a different format. Back on the View Report screen, you can see there are a variety of additional reports that we have available to us. And aside from the first two, these are all dashboard format reports. So if we click on the reporting rate and timeliness, that will actually generate a dashboard that has a variety of different tables and charts for us to review. So each of the different dashboards included in OpenLMIS will have its own specific indicators and visualizations, but there are a few key features that are common to all of the dashboards that will help you navigate them and really dig into the data. So the first is the filters. Each of the dashboards will have a variety of filters that you can use to limit the data that's being pulled in to the dashboard and displayed on the visualizations or in the tables. And that will allow you to look more specifically or more in depth at different indicators. And there are a variety of different filters that you'll see on the different dashboards. Some are specific to individual dashboards but many are common throughout the dashboards, such as a geographic filter, like a region or a district, or the facility or program. Things like that you'll see very frequently in the filters, and some, like this reporting timeliness status, may be specific to the particular dashboard. So for example, if we only wanted to see data for reports that were submitted on time, we could filter the reporting timeliness category, and then we would only see data for on-time reports. And those filters get applied to all of the tables and visualizations on the dashboard. You can also interact with the individual tables or charts in a variety of ways. So on this all-time reporting timeliness chart, if I hover over any area of the chart, I'll get a little tooltip that will tell me some additional detail and what the value of that particular uh, piece of the chart is. And I can also use the color-coded dots on the legend to limit what's being shown on this specific visualization. So if I, for example, didn't want to see 
reports that hadn't been submitted. If I click on that dot, I can remove that from the chart. And if I click it again, I can bring that back. Additionally, on the tables, you have the ability to sort the tables by clicking on the arrow icons to the right of any of the column labels. So for example, if I wanted to group everything in the table by the reporting timeliness status, if I click on that arrow, you can see the icon changes a bit to indicate that now the table is sorted by the reporting timeliness, and that's sorted in alphabetical order. If I click that again, it will reverse the order to reverse alphabetical order. So I'll see those unscheduled reports on top. So now I'll go back to the view reports screen and we'll take a look at another one of these dashboard examples. So now we'll take a look at the consumption dashboard. So again, I just click on that consumption dashboard and that will generate So on the consumption dashboard, again, I have my filters. I have a variety, some, again, that I saw on the other dashboard, like the region, the program, the district, um, the facility. But then I also have a few additional ones for this particular dashboard, such as the product name or stock status. I also have this logistics summary report in a table where again, I can use these arrows to sort the table for any of these columns if I wanted to. This is also a table that could be very big and could have a lot of rows. So I can also determine how many entries I want to view at any given time. If I wanna limit that to 10 being displayed on the page or if I wanna go all the way up to 100. I do also have the ability to search in this table so if I wanted to find something specific, such as azithromycin, I could start typing that in. And as I'm typing, the table will limit the items included to just the items that match whatever I've typed in that search box. I also have the ability to export this data. So if I click on this little three dot icon in the top right corner of any of the tables or charts, I can use this export CSV to actually generate an export of all of the data that's in this table. So again, that downloaded And if I open that up, then I'll get an export of all of the data that's included in that table. So if I wanted to do any further analysis or create any other charts or visualizations, I have the ability to just export that data and then I can work with it on my own. So we'll go back to the View Reports tab. And as I mentioned, there are a variety of these dashboards available for you to review all of the information in the system and help manage your supply chain performance. That concludes our reporting demo.